Hey guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here. Today I'm going to be answering a couple questions from Sin. She sent me lots of questions. Thank you, Sin. That's amazing. Um, I'll answer a couple of them right now. What are the top three KPIs for Scrum Master Agile Coach during their three months at a company? That's a great question. Uh, not many people talk about KPIs for Agile Coach and Scrum Masters. I think that they should have KPIs. I think that they should plan to do something cool and then make sure that other people keep them accountable for it. So, when I joined the team I can sell right now, my KPI was I want to make you the most efficient team in the department in three months. And this was my KPI. So, uh, the reasonable KPI would be I want to set up agile ceremonies in one or multiple teams. I want to have an Agile workshop that everyone in the company understands Agile would be another KPI. I want to make sure to meet with every team member, understand their concerns and resolve most of them. That would be another KPI. I want to set up Jira in such a way that people will find it useful. I want to help create a process around interaction with our stakeholders would be another one that would make it easier for us to communicate. I want to improve transparency and happiness and then you can measure that by uh, having some happiness spreader exercises on your retrospect. So the next question from Sint is, the Scrum Master plus Agile coaches who are often givers of the team with resources, removing blockers, etc. How does one feel him personally with new ideas to experiment? I ask people, what would you think would help if they say some things, maybe we should do this, maybe we should do that, and say, definitely, let's try that. And this is how new ideas are born. I also have experience with working with many different teams, so sometimes if they are not sure, I might recommend them some ideas. I read a lot of uh, Facebook groups for Scrum Masters. I read books about Agile, about Scrum. I talk to people in the industry, and then we share what works, what doesn't. I have many peers that I know who work in different companies and they had many different ideas so we share them as well. I share lots of new ideas in this video as well so please subscribe and uh, be sure to follow it because this is one of the resources that you can use to generate new ideas. How does one fuel himself for those ideas? Uh, that's I just said from different resources and uh, yeah, talking to the team making sure you understand the current situation because they all are different. I hope those two answers are good enough. If you have any clarifications you want to talk about or have any comments, put them down below. If you have any questions, put them down below as well, or on LinkedIn or Quora, wherever you see that. If you have any questions for me, please ask, I'll be happy to answer them. This is Anatoly from Define Agile. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.